my name is Max Soto and I'm a first year graduate student at Texas Lutheran University and today I want to discuss UCL injuries and provide techniques on adequately assessing and diagnosing a UCL injury. To begin, it's very important that we understand the anatomy of the UCL. The UCL is the primary stabilizer of the elbow and is comprised of three bundles. So let's take a closer look at the UCL. So first we have the anterior bundle that runs from the medial epicondyle to the core cord process and is the primary restraint to valgus force. Then we have the transverse bundle that runs from the core cord process to the olecranon process. And lastly we have the posterior bundle that runs from the olecranon process to the medial epicondyle. So the next question is who does this affect and why? UCL injuries tend to affect overhead athletes like javelin throwers, tennis players, baseball and softball players, and volleyball players. This is due to repetitive valgus force on the medial elbow during the late cocking and early acceleration phase of throwing. So now that we understand the basic anatomy and pathogenesis of a UCL injury, let's take a look at how a UCL evaluation may present. So can you tell me what happened? Yeah, so I was in the in the bullpen getting warming up and getting ready to pitch and I, I threw a fastball and I felt this just immediate like pain in my elbow and I, I don't know if I heard like anything but I just felt a lot of pain and so I took like 10 or 15 minutes and walked it off a little bit then I went back and I grabbed the uh, baseball and I was just going to toss it to my buddy not even like a pitch just a nice little toss and I went, went to go toss it and I felt some pain again, a lot of pain, that was a bad sign, so that's, that's why I'm here. Okay, um, and did, did you say you felt a pop or not? Or pop uh, or heard? I think I maybe felt one, didn't hear anything. Okay, um, do you have any numbness or tingling? At the moment, no. No, at the time of injury, did you have any numbness or tingling? Uh, maybe just a little bit, like after the first pitch I threw. And, where and then when I walked that? it, just down this part of my Okay. My arm. Okay. Um, have you been feeling this pain for a while now? No, this happened uh, just yesterday, so that's why I'm here today. Okay. Okay. The patient can also complain of a gradual onset on the medial side over a period of time, paresthesia, giving way, loss of accuracy, or that the pain goes away when the activity stops. Okay, let's go ahead and start palpating some of those structures to see which bundle is actually affecting you the most, okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay. So, let's start up here. Do you have any pain up here? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yep. About right in here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go right here. Oh, yeah, right there. Okay. Oh, uh, that kind of hurt. Right there. Uh, I mean, yeah, but not so much. Mostly right here? Yep. Okay. And in the front where you first touched, yeah. All right. So we are over your anterior bundle right now, um, and this part right here that's affecting you is your medial epicondyle, um, where that originates, okay? Okay. So what I want to do now is just take a look at your range of motion, okay? Um, so let's start off with extending your arms like this. Good. Do you have any pain with that? Not really. Okay. Now go ahead and bring them up, so bend your elbows. Good. Go back down. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. okay. Now let's go ahead and flex our wrists like this. Good. And down like that. That's okay? Yeah. Okay. And then let's go ahead and twist over. Like Good. that. Mm -hmm. And back. Good. Go ahead and do it on that side as well. Good. Back. Okay. Do you have any pain with any of that? Not really, no. What I want to do now is do a couple of special tests on your injured elbow so I can test the integrity of the UCL, okay? Okay, sounds good. Okay, so the first test I'm going to start with is a valgus test. I'm going to start with flexing your elbow about 45 degrees and stabilizing your humerus with this hand. Um, and then we're going to apply a valgus force. Checking for any of the. Okay. So the next test we're going to do is called the milking sign. Um, so I'm going to start with flexing your elbow right about here. Um, and then let me go ahead and take your thumb and pull back. 
Yeah, that kind of hurts. Are you feeling the same pain that you felt when the injury initially happened? Yeah, just not as bad, but the same pain. Okay. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do one more test, okay? okay. So we're going to bring your arm up to here. Okay. And we're going to apply valgus force. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go into extension. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, do you have any pain out here? No. Okay. Um, what about when I moved? I'm not paying attention. What about when I moved from this and anyway out here? I mean, it got less. It was a lot. Of, the most of the pain was back here, and then it decreased as I straightened my arm up. Okay. The moving valgus test is very good at determining if the patient has an MUCL tear. Some patients may think that imaging is necessary for diagnosing, but unless the patient is pursuing surgical intervention, it's not necessary at all. The MRI scan is frequently used to visualize the anterior bundle of the MUCL, and the MRI scan with contrast may reveal under the surface tears. I hope this video helps you in trying to diagnose a UCL injury in the future. Thank you so much for watching.